Hey everyone, Andre here, and Nintendo Switch just got updated to version 13.0, and it adds a few new features, with one being pretty big in particular, it finally supports Bluetooth headphones and headsets. Heck yes. So we're going to try that out right now, which I'm doing this little picture-in-picture -picture thing. So we're going to head on over to System Settings. We're going to go down to the new Bluetooth option, uh, Bluetooth Audio. So to use Bluetooth Audio, you must first pair a device up to Bluetooth wireless controllers can connect while using Bluetooth Audio. So those are the Joy-Cons right there. Uh, Bluetooth Audio will be disconnected during local communication. Bluetooth microphones cannot be used, and you may experience audio latency depending on your Bluetooth device. So we're going to continue. Okay, let me go ahead and move myself here so I don't block the options. Pair device. So we're, okay, we're going to scan. So I'm going to hold down the search for uh, on my Google Pixels. Hopefully this works. Might have to open them up. Ah, good. Found it. All right. Pixel Buds. Even got the name right. Good job, Switch. All right, connected to Bluetooth audio. Heck yeah. So we're going to pop these bad boys in. You're not going to be able to hear it, but I can. That's what matters. All right, so... Right away, I think the, yeah, the audio is gone from the Switch itself, from the outputs. So we're going to go over to, let's say, Cruising Blast, which came out today. And we're going to see if this works. Oh, I hope it does. All right, I'm not hearing anything yet. That's because there's no sound on the screen. Come on, it's going to blow my eardrums out, hopefully. That's what I want. I want that Cruising Blast theme in my ears right now. There we go. It's coming through. Oh, this is great. So I'm controlling, I can control the audio with my, uh, by swiping back and forth with my Pixel Buds just like you would normally. So this is great. All right. I'm going to take it out since that helps you not at all. So good. Earbuds work. This is awesome. So, uh, yes. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you so much for finally adding this. Thank God. All right. So now we're going to check out some of the other options. So this is huge real quick. Just as dr I just want to drive that point home. You can now use wireless headphones and earbuds with your Nintendo Switch. Makes it way easier in general if you have them uh, already. So you don't have to carry multiple headsets around with you. Okay, next up, something else they added, something a little interesting, is where if you go to system, I believe, you can now update the dock. But this only works with the OLED, I believe it only works with the OLED model. Um, I, it, it seems to be implying that it works on my current Switch. It doesn't work with the light, obviously. Um, I believe it's, I believe it's only for, oh no, it's for both. So Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch OLED. So, I don't know what features they're planning and adding here, but there you go. Alright, next up, they added a option in sleep mode, where you can have it, uh, maintain internet connection in sleep mode. So we're going to leave that on, so this just allows it to, um, you know, access the internet when it's in sleep mode. So, I guess it comes at the expense of, uh, battery drain. And the only other thing they changed here is if we go to controllers and settings, they made it so that if we check the calibrate control sticks, they adjusted the method here. So we tilt the control stick that we want to use. All right, is it, wait, I'm tilting it. Is it not reading? What the heck? All right, it does not want to, <laughs> All right, are you sure Nintendo? There we go. All right, and okay, now it works. I think it was just a connection issue. So we'll go back and we'll try it again. We'll use the right control stick. Maybe. Why isn't it? Why aren't you reading a switch? All right, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand this. Uh, this should work. It's not really working for me. I don't know why. But even though the rest of the controls work. But there you go, everyone. Those are all the... Uh, Oh, except for users can now set whether their wireless interconnection is using the 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz frequency under a connection status. So that's something else they added as well. But there you go. Those are the main new features added to Switch 13.0. I believe that's it. Let me just check the profile icons just to make sure. I already did a quick check. Um, they didn't mention that they added any more here. I didn't see any more. But we just want to uh, confirm that. Are those new? I don't think those are new, are they? No, those are not new. Um, if there is anything new, you can see them here. I don't think they are. These all look old to me. So, uh, yeah, there we go, everyone. 13.0, we got wireless Bluetooth headsets. Thank God about time. With that, thank you for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game of Spain for more on Nintendo Switch OS updates in the near future. Hopefully near future. And everything else Nintendo as well. We'll catch you later. Bye, everyone.